fall tornado season Ooh. is here. Yes. My goodness. And we do have some storms to expect mm -hmm. tonight, but will that be severe? Uh, most likely it will not be severe. As a matter of fact, it may just be general rain that well, pushes okay. through yeah. here in East Texas. It. Yeah, we'll take that as well, but we would need a little bit more precipitation. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for, and the model data just doesn't suggest that we're going to see a whole lot, but we do expect the radar to be a bit more active into the overnight and the day tomorrow. Look at the severe storm reports from yesterday across portions of Kansas, off the Rocky Mountains there. Yeah, some big time severe thunderstorms really came through a lot of tornado reports uh, were mentioned and reported back in west portions of Kansas from yesterday. Also, wind and hail were also concerns at the, uh, from yesterday afternoon severe weather. Okay, here's our setup for us. Ridge of high pressure off to the southeast, but that's still having an impact on our weather, but moisture from the west from Pamela that made landfall this morning in Mexico is now spreading in more moisture, and that's why there's a lot of rain out in portions of west central Texas at this time. Just got to tell you, the rain chances are not looking very great for us. The best chances are really going to be west of Highway 259, and I would even say the highest chances in our west Royal County. So for those of you near Highway 19, better chances of rainfall expected for you tonight into the day tomorrow. If you're along near and near Highway 259 or just east of Highway 69, the rain chance starts to come down just a bit more. The farther east you go from 259 and 59 rain chances are a lot lower, probably less than a 40% probability. It doesn't mean you're not going to get rainfall. It just means the intensity of the rain and where we could have some of our heavier amounts most likely will be out to the west. Lots of sunshine for today, along with the clouds, very humid for us. A southerly breeze 10 miles an hour from Tyler Pounds Regional Airport and an air temperature right now of 86 degrees. We've got cloud cover that's beginning to increase a bit more for us. We've got close to near 90 again this afternoon on the radar front. No problems here in East Texas starting to see some isolated development of some showers beginning to lift northward from the Gulf of Mexico. These showers moving through central Texas, but here is your line of storms that we're keeping an eye on. That's going to move toward Interstate 35. This will be the region that we'll watch for, and this rain extends all the way back down toward the Texas and the Mexico border with some stronger storms there. Now watch what happens in the next couple of hours as we get toward 8, 10 o'clock tonight. Storms are approaching near I-35. Some of these will begin to move in to our west and northwest county. So Hopkins County all the way down toward Henderson and Anderson County. Even sections of Wood County too, coming a little bit more to the east. We'll probably begin to see some precipitation begin to pick up. As the rain moves in, forecast models continue to show that a lot of it begins to fall apart in terms of its intensity and coverage, but we do anticipate the rainfall to increase overnight tonight. And again, it's mainly west of 259, even along and west of Highway 69 into early tomorrow. Here's 7 a.m. Yes, deep east Texas, you too will get in on some precipitation to start the day, and then we await the uh, surface area of low pressure associated with Pamela. That will help bring in maybe a few more showers. We have a lot of moisture in the low levels of the atmosphere, but the upper levels are still relatively dry. We're just hoping that we can get more moisture there and saturate the entire column of air, and that will lead to a better chance of rain for all of us. But the rainfall just does not look like we're going to see much of it. Maybe near an inch or two in our extreme northwest counties, but the rest of us probably under a half an inch or so. Maybe a few areas central and northern counties may pick up close to about a half an inch or three quarters of an inch. All of this will pull on out on Friday as we track our cold front to move in as the front arrives mid 80s, maybe even briefly near 90 in deep east Texas, but behind the front much cooler air begins to settle in and notice what happens as we move into early on Saturday morning. We've got low 50s, even some upper 40s just in time for some tremendous Tremendous weather for the Texas Rose Festival that you'll see here on Saturday morning on KETK. So a likely chance of rain tomorrow, but not everybody's going to see a lot of rain. A couple of showers with the cold front on Friday. Look at the weekend morning lows, upper 40s and low 50s, highs in the 70s this weekend. We'll go back into the 80s next week, maybe another cold front next Wednesday and deep east Texas. Some rain and a few thunderstorms tomorrow and a small rain chance again Friday, especially if temperatures warm up close to 90 before that front moves in. Now that's fall y'all. Okay. <laughs> yeah.
Thank you. News Nation Prime.